So we are currently on a mission to get water for coffee. Came in my sleeping bag. I just unzipped the bottom so I can walk. But this one guys, I think I've been filming this one. Rides over Mont Blanc. That have just been laughing at me from the Ridgeline. But how beautiful is this view? There is not a single cloud in the sky. Still struggling to walk in my sleeping bag. There's not a single cloud in the sky. Insane. Coffee in this view. In my sleeping bag, so I'm so nice and warm. I've got this guy joining us this morning. And just to add to an even more incredible warning, I'm not sure that the camera will pick it up or not, but right over in the distance there, you can just about see those two tiny dots. They're two hot air balloons. It's so cool. Where's the bag? Saying goodbye to this beautiful camp spot and up we go for our final day on trail! Bit of rock scrambling back up onto trail this morning. <sighs> and we made it. Good morning. So we set off quite a bit late than usual today for our final day on trail. I think it's like nine o'clock or something like that now. Just after, the people on the cable car are up. So it must be at least nine. <laughs> but honestly, that camp spot last night was absolutely stunning. To wake up to these views this morning was just incredible. So I'm feeling very grateful. Got to enjoy my coffee and watch this lovely view this morning. And last night was actually a super pretty sunset. We were already in bed, but I could see the glow coming through the tent. So, Jordan was asleep, so I didn't want to be like, too noisy, but I slipped my phone under the, under the bottom of the tent. And now it looks like we are coming up to an insane view of Mont Blanc. What a view. This is insane. <laughs>
It feels like it was a perfect last full day yesterday. And we don't actually have too long today. We've just got to go downhill now. We've got incredible views of Mont Blanc on this side already. Surrounded by all these mountains. There's not a cloud in the sky. It has just been such a min end to our trip. straight now kiddos the home straight <laughs> I knew you were doing so much. <laughs> so just changing my top my bloody sleeping bag fell out and went all the way down to there just near that bush I literally thought it was going all the way that it just would not stop cheer pal well what I had to do was change my top so that was a pretty hectic five minutes I uh, obviously dropped my sleeping bag down the hill that didn't stop rolling for a bit Jonah went and rescued that then a group of French hikers pass and they were like bonjour bonjour what did I say au revoir instead of bonjour like I don't know what my brain was thinking but it just came out completely wrong and then my Pringles went everywhere it's just just been that five minutes but it's fine we're back on track now Mont Blanc is still looking incredible we're getting closer to Le, Le Houche and it's a beautiful day Chain crossing.
for all the people who do the trail clockwise instead of anti-clockwise like we have good on you because this is a hell of a downhill because the grindstone even it's taken like a fair amount of concentration on the foot so it's actually quite tiring really but um yeah the people that do this 1500 meter climb as you're starting tmv on day one like that's insane so well done for everyone that has done it clockwise <laughs> this dodgy looking bridge so on the map it looks like we should have took that route down but I'm sure I read a blog not that long ago saying that they took that route and were advised to take that route and then they ended up having to walk back up because it wasn't the right route so we're gonna carry on along this it actually does meet up with our trail if we need to rejoin um, and it also said on the sign that Les Hoosh was this way whereas the other sign just seems to lead to a car park so glad we're coming this way pretty sheltered through the forest and I'm not sure if we see the Christ statue today along this route so that'll be cool but uh, yeah hopefully we're going the right way I'm pretty sure it's this way but <laughs> I don't know So this is where we're going to rejoin the trail, I'm not sure how because there's electric wires and that kid that you can see is on the other side of the fence. So um, for reference, um, don't drop down where it says Merlo Car Park, just keep following the signs for those hoosh, even if the map tells you otherwise because unfortunately in this case the map is wrong. An hour 15 to those hoosh. Or maybe it puts you on that side of the fence because that's where there seems to be other people so uh, maybe the recent addition of the fence is the problem. <laughs> service here. And now you can see the statue. This is the church bells chime. We have done full circle because we made it back to the train which is where we started but of course we're going to the official end back at the sign and then back on the train to shiny <laughs>
So I lied when I said I found a climb and the CMB was done. You have to climb back into Les Huches. And it is quite the climb, especially in this heat. But the sign's just up here, and we've almost completed the TMB. Got a lovely room with a lovely balcony. And bloody Darwin on the trail is like a few rooms up. We just saw him on his balcony. 